Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to share with you guys some extensions and themes for brackets that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. A lot of questions I get related to code videos are what extensions are you using and what themes are you running? So I'm going to share with you guys some of the stuff I've recently found and I've been using for a while now. So here is the default dark theme for brackets. Nothing has been installed to this at all. And here is what mine looks like currently. So here's what my brackets looks like. It looks completely different. I do have this screen split so you guys can see that I have draggable tabs that I can switch back and forth through very easily. I think that's much better than this menu and I can even close that with this arrow icon. And so I have a nice coding view here and I can highlight over this bubble and that'll show me this menu if I need to open like an image or something to double check something. So I really like this layout. I have a new theme on so you can see the different colors. I also have these indentions running here and I even have a different font set. So this is a really, really nice look for brackets, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I recommend and everything I'm using. So let's head over to brackets.io and I'll show you. So if you're new to this and you don't know where to get started, you can go to brackets.io, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see popular extensions. These are recommended extensions and the most popular ones that people are using now. You can click check out new extensions and that's gonna take you to this page right here, which is where I found quite a bit of mine. Now, before I show you the ones that I use exactly, I wanna go over some of these that I think you guys should check out. The first one is Emmet. I get recommended this one all the time. I prefer not to use it, but a lot of people really love this. And it basically gives you a real simple way to generate a lot of HTML and CSS very quickly. It's an abbreviated style. And when you type out something like this, you'll see this is gonna be an unordered list with an ID of nav, and it's gonna create a few list items for you. And when you press enter, it generates all this for you. I prefer my flow and kind of coding in my way, and I don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage not using this because I'm pretty quick at typing and writing HTML and CSS for a while. I feel comfortable doing this. So I prefer not to use this. I get recommended it all the time, and I always say, I'm okay without it, but if you guys want to kind of speed up your workflow, go ahead and check this one out. I highly recommend it. The next one is Beautify, and this is another one I recommend, but I personally don't use just because I no longer need it. If I would have found this when I first started coding, it would be incredibly useful. I don't think it's going to give me any pictures here on the GitHub, no. Uh, basically, what that's going to do is I will show you here in brackets. So you can beautify this code right here. So if you don't know how to structure HTML and CSS very neatly, it's going to beautify it to look something like this. So if you're writing code that's all on one line, so you're not using any tabs and you're not using any spacing and everything's just cluttered up, it's going to automatically space it out to look like this neat and organized. So it's basically if you're new, it's supposed to help you uh, kind of learn how to style HTML where it's readable. Okay, so I think that's all the ones I want to cover before we get into the ones I use. You guys can check out this page for yourself. Just follow what I did. Go to brackets.io and then click more extensions. So I think I'm just going to head over to brackets and we're just going to go through each one individually and what they actually do. So if we click the extension button to search an extension, you would just search it here in the search bar. And for themes, you would do the same thing. Go to the theme tab and search it up. So let's go to mine here. So the first one I'm running is bracket tree icons. This one doesn't do a whole lot, but I think it's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna click enable on that and then close that out. So right here, you can see we have an HTML5 logo next to our index.html. And if I open this up, you'll see that we have a CSS3 and this also just refresh. So you can see I have a folder icon next to my images folder and all of my images have icons next to them. It's just a nice visual way to see the files I'm working on. So if you have hundreds of files listed down here, you can easily see this is an HTML5, this is CSS3. So I thought that was pretty cool, so I went ahead and installed that. So this next one is going to improve brackets a lot. It's called Custom Work, and I really love this extension. So I've already enabled that, and you can tell we have quite a bit of stuff that is changed, and you can do even more with this. But first off, you have this arrow here, and you can hide this window very, very easily. So now we have this tab that we can hover over and see all of our files. So we have tabs running along the top, and that is the main reason that I got this. I feel that that is a lot easier to use than having this window open the whole time and switching between your files up here. So let's take a look at everything you can do with this. So if we go to navigate and custom work settings, you can see everything here you can do. It has its own icon set. 
So if we select that and save, you'll now see we have two sets of icons. So let me go into my extensions. And installed, we'll remove the brackets tree icons for just a second. And now we only have the custom work icons. So here you can choose which ones you like. I personally like the tree icons better, so that's what I run with. Uh, but you can also just download custom work, and it has its own tree icons, which I think is pretty cool. You can set them to grayscale, which I've never actually seen that's actually pretty cool. I might leave that. You can also give the tab bar a bluish style. So if we select that, it's just going to change this to blue. I don't like that. I like the whole dark theme, so I'm not going to use that. But that is a really nice look. Uh, move toolbar to the sidebar. That moves this bar over here, down here into the side. I've kind of preferred it over here. Uh, in a lot of my recent videos, I had it down here, but... I actually think that I like it over here better. I don't feel like it's hiding anything or it's disturbing me at all. So I'm going to put that back over on the side. And you just have all kinds of things you guys can go through here and you can take a look at. There's the shortcut commands and all the features explained for you. So this is a really good way to make brackets look unique. And I think it is an awesome extension. So go ahead and check that one out. Let's move on to the next one. The next one here is font style select, and that's just going to allow you to change the font. So you can go to fonts, and then I like this console one. But you can change this to whatever you like. You can even do a cursive font for some reason. I don't know why you would want to code with a cursive font. Uh, but there's some decent ones in here, but I prefer this console one right here. This next one is indent guides, and this one's just going to show you some lines and show you where your indentions are. So you can see here, we now have these lines. So I think Sublime does this, and I really liked that, so I added that here, so we can see exactly where this UL opens and closes. All right, so this last one is just my theme, and I'm using the OS X style flat and dark. So if we go up to view themes, we can change this from the default brackets dark to the OS X style flat and dark. Also, I have my 17 pixel font size here just to make that a little bit better. And then here is what we have. I like these colors just a little bit more. I feel like they're more pleasing to me. So that's why I like this theme. Uh, but there's a ton of themes you guys can choose from. I think this one is actually on the list of recommended themes from that website we were just taking a look at. So that's how I found this. Really like this theme. And that's pretty much how to get your brackets looking like mine, if you like how mine looks. There are a few other things you can do. So if we go to brackets, and then we can click preferences, you can see everything here that you can change. So on the left is the read-only file, and then over here is what we can set. So if we want to change something in here we just write it over here in this side and it automatically updates so if i want to change this to like 13 size i can just save that and we have 13 pixel font so that's how i actually change my font uh, but the, probably the quicker way to do it is just go to themes and then select your font size here in the drop down uh, but you can change all kinds of stuff here i have edited a few things for tutorials to make them a little bit better uh like this scrolling, I've added this uh, so that instead of having the text kind of wrap in this section, you just, you just scroll over to read the rest of it. Here you can see that I have the custom work bluish. If I change that to true, you can save and see there it's now blue at the top. So we'll set that back to false. So you can edit everything here if you want to do that. And I think this is a little bit easier than having to find everything up here in the navigate and the view and the find. So I prefer to do it this way, uh, but you guys can really customize this and that's why I really like this text editor. So that is it for this brackets video. I've also made a video on brackets before explaining my favorite text editor and why it's my favorite one. I'm gonna link that on the end screen so you guys can click on that and learn a little bit more about brackets if you're interested in downloading it. Uh, if you guys have any themes or extensions that you use in brackets, go ahead and comment those down below so we can all check them out and try them for ourselves. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this 
this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Yav-related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.